This is going to be a really quick video how to do brakes on a Ford Escort 98 to 2003. This is a ZX2. First thing you're going to have to do, there's a nut in the center. That nut. And if you noticed, it is peened over there. If I take the right in the corner, it's peened. You're going to have to unpeen it. I mean, it's bent in. I think it's inch and a quarter socket that fits in there. Then you can pull it out, and it comes out. There's these two fill screws. I already have told us the part before. What you're going to want to have to do is use an impact driver to get these out. These are very hard. You don't want to strip them. Impact driver, when you hit the hammer and twist it, it'll take it out. And then when you put these back in, grease them. That way they'll come out again. I always grease lug nuts too. So, had the two bolts out in theory. I pulled the camera away. The drum comes off. Now these clips on these things are a pain in the ass. This has been done already. Um, factory clips are even harder than the ones on there. And take pictures when you do this. The factory clips have to be squeezed together on both sides to make it work. And this is 140,000 on the original brakes. And you want to get a hardware kit, they're like 15 bucks. But the original pins were so rusted they were thin. Okay. Um, replace the new pins. These new uh, connectors or uh, clips have a hole on one end and a clip in the other. So that way you can put the tab of the pin in there and twist it once you got it in there. Real easy. Um, a pair of bent, vice, uh, bent pliers is what I was using. Makes it easier to get to. And then the springs just know where to go. The shoes clip under here. The spring goes across there. And then the only issue I had was this parking brake hasn't worked in years. If you look back here, here's where the cable is. So what I had to do is go back over here. There's a swivel point back there. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it how well. I had to lube it up with penetrating oil, let it sit for a while. Then what I did is disconnect the parking brake cable here, because this whole thing, if the shoes are out, will move. Then I was able to pry it back and forth against the back of the drum without the parking cable on to free up the mechanism. And once I freed up the mechanism, I was able to put it back on. And the shoes connect up to here, in these little clips. This one hangs out a little bit. This is the parking brake part. And notice how I got it. This thing will spin 360 degrees around where it is. You just get it to spin in the far enough back where you get the shoes in. It takes a few minutes. These things are a pain in the ass. What I did was put the bottom spring in first, put the two shoes in there. Then I was able to get these in with the the feet basically of the wheel cylinder get the new springs on so that's lubed up over there and then what you need to do is if you're not going to professionally get the drums changed turned is you're going to at least sand them down with sandpaper you need to scuff them up to give them a new surface to break into which is what I did already like that. and it's raining out here a little bit so we kind of quit for the day Line it up. Hold on. Line it up. Make sure it fits on nice and snug, but not too tight. And the brakes will set themselves. Actually, the impact driver you can use to screw them on too. Now I'll do that in a little bit. I'm gonna make sure I put a little grease on them because those are hard to get off, and then grease the lug nuts. Um, the hardware kit I got. Was 1727. The shoe number was 598. Um, and then when you put the axle nut back on, I just tighten it as far as it'll go, line that notch up so I know what the notch that was in there or it was peened over. And then that's it. So hopefully it helps you to do for brakes or Ford Escort. And then 
you should also consider doing struts if you're in the area. Really easy to change. These ones are the original ones, so pretty bad.